On December the 19th, 1972, Apollo 17 returned to Earth after eight days on the moon. It was the sixth successful manned lunar mission in the space of three years. It would also be the last. More than four decades later, the Apollo 17 team remained the last humans to set foot on the moon's surface. But why? UFO Insight writer and editor Ian Stevens believes that NASA has not returned to the moon because it is secretly inhabited by a sophisticated alien civilization. According to Ian Stevens, this alien species has colonized the dark side of the moon. From settlements and rocket bases, they monitor life on Earth. Stevens believes NASA has decided the best way to deal with it is to deny its existence. His claim is corroborated by former NASA staff, including Donna Hare. She allegedly worked in the agency's photo labs in the early 1970s. Hare revealed that high-ranking employees once shared top-secret information with her. This included the revelation that astronauts from one of the moon landings said they discovered three UFOs when they reached the moon. These mysterious craft then trailed them for the duration of their mission. Another former employee, Carl Wolf, claims that while working on NASA's Lunar Orbiter project in 1965, he discovered photographic evidence of an alien base on the moon. Wolf says the images show a series of mushroom-shaped buildings, spherical structures and towers built by aliens, which NASA chose to hide from the public. More intriguingly, Author Maurice Chatelain has published radio transcripts from several of the Apollo missions. These include conversations from the Apollo 11 mission. The transcripts show that as Neil Armstrong became the first man to walk on the moon, the surrounding craters were lined with observant alien spaceships. When the astronauts informed mission control, they were instructed to be silent on the issue, so that word would not get out. Two. NASA claims it is pursuing a global exploration strategy. This is an international effort to discuss the goals and purpose of exploring the moon further. Current conclusions state there is no urgency to return there. However, given there are a number of scientific questions that require lunar data to answer, this seems unlikely. Ian Stevens argues that this is simply a PR stunt to keep the public in the dark. Indeed, in 1968, NASA published Document R-277. This is a comprehensive list of 9,600 mysterious phenomena on the Moon's surface. They include an inexplicable eruption seen by Soviet astronomer Nikolai Kozarev in the Alphonsus crater in 1958. It remains unsolved to this day. In 1977, George Leonard published photographs which appear to show footprints on the moon that he claimed were made by aliens. The book also includes photographs of Tycho Crater. Leonard says the photos clearly show the crater is actually a construction site and a hiding place for alien machinery. However, although these mysteries have yet to be explained, they do not offer proof of extraterrestrial life on the moon. Hare and Wolf's testimonies are certainly interesting, but there is no evidence to suggest they are authentic. Instead, there may be other, more banal reasons we haven't returned to the moon. The Apollo program is estimated to have cost a massive $110 billion in today's money. Recent estimates put the cost of a mission today at over $105 billion. Given that NASA's total federal budget for 2017 is $19 billion, a moon landing would be financially very difficult. Moreover, there is no evidence that NASA's global exploration strategy is a ploy to distract from the truth. NASA says it relates to the changing demands of lunar travel. Earlier missions intended simply to take people to the moon and return them to 